Today, we're at Lighthouse Christian Academy to discover how a little bit of classical education can go a long way with a little help from technology. And also, we find out from some kids and the teachers that nothing is going to slow this school down. It's not distance learning because we're not that far away, but it is continual learning. We haven't stopped. So our day starts on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. We start with whole school devotions at 8.30, and that's a Zoom call, and that's really fun. We read little stories and we sing songs, which is always funny because the Zoom like sound laughs is never on. So we pretty much just laugh about that. It's fascinating, the, the things that our teachers have done, who, as I said, we haven't, our, our, um, our technology is not something that we focus on at, the, at a classical school. So our teachers had to very quickly adapt to the new environment and it has gone extremely well. We are doing Zoom meetings um, Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays um, from 9.30 to 10.30ish where we go through our virtual circle time, do our calendar, do our weather, um, introduce our new letter friend and everything. The children each get a packet, a packet pickup every, I send my home every two weeks for them to meet their new letter friend, get the worksheets that we'll be doing for the week after they pick it up. For fifth grade, we start our classes at 10 a.m. and we have a two hour live Zoom call every single day. And we drill math problems and learn new math skills. We uh, read great books aloud together, which is something that we really miss doing in the classroom. So we're really thankful for that. Um, and then the students have like independent assignments for the rest of the day. And I work on trying to get all of my paper assignments translated on to digital assignments, which takes hours of work, but it's worth it and they're still learning. It kind of alternates between days we have devotions in the morning then days we don't. So on devotions I get up around 7.30ish, I have breakfast, then I go to devotions, then I have pretty much a normal day at school. Every Friday from 3 to 4 we have, uh, our parents have work that they bring by that our students have been doing all week. We've gotten it down to a pretty good science um, for a school that does not use technology on a regular basis. We hit the ground running pretty quickly and have had amazing um, feedback on how well it's gone. Parents of the students that I have are all on board 100% and are sitting with their children when we have the Zoom meetings, helping them you know, to answer questions if they need it and everything. So that's been, that's been the best part, I think. We have novels, we have our, our science teacher has been preparing science experiments that the students do at home on their Zoom calls, so there are little bags of, I don't know, all kinds of goodies. I'm hoping they're not making a Frankenstein or anything that's going to be part of the science fair. I did a cooking show and gave them all a recipe to follow to make cookies. I mean, lots of things. You have to scavenger hunts outside. You have to keep them engaged and they have to be having fun and then it makes learning come naturally when they're having fun doing it. I brought every single letter friend that we've had this classroom year home and put them up in my office and the children all think that they are sleeping in the guest rooms in my house. <laughs> For every morning my kids are sent a video and we call it Mornings with Mrs. Getz and I have learned a lot of video <laughs> editing <laughs> skills. So there is the theme song and there is titles and all sorts of things and we celebrate random holidays every day and then we talk about what happened this day in history. Um, so. Bye, Val! Bye. So what do you prefer? Do you prefer having school at home or do you prefer coming to the school? I prefer coming to the school. <laughs> Are you driving anyone at home crazy yet? Yes. <laughs> I take up the entire kitchen. <laughs> And the students are going to be ready for next year. Absolutely. Uh, all the children who are ready to go to kindergarten, 100% next year, without a doubt. And how about hopeful prospective students? Right. So this is the time of year when private schools tend to do their most recruiting, and they're giving tours, and we give tests, and there's conversations, and you get to sit and talk to someone like you would in a coffee shop or in a classroom or wherever it might be that you'd like to go. And that's been hard because all we've been able to do is take phone calls or we have, or uh, Zoom, we had to, we Zoom interviewed a, a potential um, teacher. You know, this is how we're, we're meeting people. So we are still um, receiving applications actually at, at a, an alarming rate, <laughs> which has been great for us. Um, we have a lot of applications coming in. We have several classes that are going to have wait lists, we imagine. We're able to still 
will screen people, um, families, and find out, you know, answer their questions and have Zoom meetings with them if they want to see, take them on a little tour. I direct them to the tours that I've taken with you in the past um, to at least get them into our building virtually. We have plans to test students because that's one of the things that we have to do is we have to see where they are, if they're ready for whatever grade it is they'd like to go into. So it, once the stay-at-home order is lifted, we'll be able to start doing that. Special thanks to Lighthouse Christian Academy. We can't wait to see what you have in store next year.